Hello and welcome back to a new video from SketchUp TV. I'm Max and I will show you today how to animate this screen, this landing page for example, with cards like these right here. And we want to have them, we want to fade them in from the top and from the bottom. And let's just get straight into this by simply exporting all the assets. So we will need the first screen or maybe the landing screen. So we just export this one and then we need to separately export all the assets. So you just go to uh, select them all and you just make them exportable right here. Export the layers and there we have them. Okay, then in principle we just uh, type in the, the width and the height that we will need or that our artboard in sketch has. We can check this right here and then we just drag in our first screen because this is basically uh, the screen that the user will see first. We can also copy this one. So we have the second screen and here on this screen we now drag in all the cards that we have and that we will show on this screen. So drag them in and now all we have to do is to arrange them as it was in our original um, file in sketch. So you just drag them in their origin to their original position. Just make sure that everything is uh, in the right place. That the spacing and everything is just okay. It's just pixel perfect. So we don't have any problems with that later. Oops, sorry. So I think we got it right here. And what we do now is to just uh, select all the, these cards because this is the final layout and we, we select them, we copy them to our first artboard. But here what we will do is to uh, select some of them and then we just drag them out of this screen. We do this with the top ones as well. And what we want to do is to click this photo, this background, and when we click it, I want to get an animation for the second screen. So at the moment it should look like this. We just get all of them slided in, in the, with the same curve, with the same uh, speed and so on. But we can also change this by selecting the arrow and selecting animate at the top. Right here we get the speed and we can simply edit our uh, transition right here. We can change the curve. We can do separate curves for every uh, animation. So maybe we just do different ones for each uh, for each layer for each card. You can test that, of course, how it looks by just clicking the back arrow, and now you see that we have nice effects. I like the spring effect because it gets back, but maybe that's not that. Well, basically what we were looking for because it looks a bit too mm, funny, a bit too too much. And here we see that we have a nice uh, animation between the car between the different cards. So we have different speeds, and I think I really like 
the way this looks. We can additionally also say that the opacity of these cards right here is at 0% and we can try how this will look. So we have a little bit more fading effect and I also like that. And we can also say that, the op that for example the width and the height of the background photo is slightly bigger. So we can just change this right here. Now we drag it into a centered position like this and we can give it a try. Just click it and you see we get a little animation between the click. Okay, so right now I would just like to link back to the old screen so I just say let's add a new layer on our second screen. This will be basically a layer with 1% visibility. We ch can change it to white for example and with this layer right here we can just say link back with a tab to the old screen so we don't have to make anything else. So we just have a nice animation backwards. But as, as well as having um, different speeds right here when moving from the first outboard to the second one, we can also say we want it backwards because you see when I click now, we have the same speed and I think we just should uh, change the curves again randomly so we have different views. So we test it right now. Okay, that's the first animation and that's the second one. Looks better in my opinion. And yeah, I just make it bigger for you to really get a better view of our animation. I think it's a nice way to, for example, click this button right here and then we just get all the items, the collection in this case, uh, slided into our screen. Perfect for a mobile application, maybe on a tablet because this is a big screen. And if you like this tutorial, just give me a thumb up or subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I would like to really have you as a regular uh, watcher of these tutorials and you can also follow me on Twitter. And of course, if you have questions, just leave them in the comments below as always. So thank you for your time and enjoy your day. See you!